Ocasio Cortez in this brand new deal that is being rolled out, right? Save America from AOC and the Green New Deal. Now, Barry, 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 what is the Green New Deal? <laughs> what oh is it? People are asking, they don't know. What what is it? All right. What I'm about to tell you is not a Saturday Night Live skit, which <laughs> they've already they've already done. Um, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. I urge your viewers to go look it up. It's really funny. Uh, it's funny because it's really accurate. This gal, this socialist young person uh, from Brooklyn, New York, has got a plan that was introduced a couple days ago that is so insane, I can't believe anybody is supporting it. We'll get to that in a minute. But this plan, <laughs> I, 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 know. I can't say it with a straight face. <laughs> she wants to eliminate, get this, all air travel, all cars, <laughs> replace or recondition every single building in America, mm -hmm. and as part of the bill, give everybody money everybody money whether they work or they don't and whether they want to work or they don't want to work but they just want money okay are you, are you with me on this so far I, I, I'm trying to follow it, it sounds crazy okay so no cars no planes jobs for everybody the people that don't want to work well they just get money uh, replace all the buildings to be energy efficient and this will all happen within 10 years and the reason this is the good part not that that wasn't good this is <laughs> even gooder than that is if we don't do this according to Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez a real congresswoman who serves in the United States Congress she predicts the world could end in 12 years. <laughs> you know, um, Barry, that, that that seems insane. That seems like a, a dystopian future right there. I mean, it, it sounds crazy. And one thing, too, I want to point out, the cost to decarbonize our economy, they're, they're, they're saying it's up to $2 trillion. I mean, some insane price. And once we decarbonize, what what are we going to use? Bear? Are we going to be on bicycles? How are we well, going to travel? You, you're not going to be allowed to be on planes anymore um, <laughs> because she doesn't like them. She wants light rail everywhere. Um, and as you said, cars suck. So there shouldn't be cars. Mm -hmm. And she's talking about this as if, there's technology for this and everyone's sort of chosen not to do it. Well, there's no technology for this stuff. She's just making this up as fast as possible. But you hear about it because the press covers it because she's kind of cute and she's cutesy yep. and it doesn't matter how stupid it is what she's talking about. This is more money than there is and she wants to spend it and has no idea where it would come from other than a confiscation of all the wealth of the United States to give it to I guess her and her friends to change everything in the whole world and if we don't do it Germain in 12 years the world <laughs> very well will end it, 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 it sounds crazy it, it, it no, really does, does. Sound, Germain correction it's completely insane mm -hmm. it doesn't sound it it is it i don't know how you could get <laughs> nuttier and still have press cover you it's astounding that anyone puts her on television and, and uh what what's so um even baffling to me is that how many people are actually taking this seriously they are mm -hmm. they're actually really taking this seriously barry i i wish i you know this was a joke but they're actually really taking this green deal seriously and, and it it was blowing my mind I, I thought you know I was in a time warp or something what is going on you're giving money to people just for breathing 
I mean, uh, Barry, I, what's wrong with these people? Well, actually, I'd like to answer your last question. The answer is yes, Jermaine, because she feels that people should have money whether or not they even want to work. In other words, if you're breathing, you get money. Mm -hmm. I don't know where any of this comes from. In her mind, I think there's a magical pile of money somewhere and that all you have to do is pass laws and then you get, I guess, some of the magical pile of money to fund programs that are completely stupid. When she ran for office, she was talking about monster tax rates that would literally destroy the, the economy. And she was talking about cradle to grave medical care mm -hmm. and free education and forgiving student loans. You know, this is the same person that when ICE came into her district to arrest a Nazi and deport him, her response from her office was abolish ICE. When MS-13 mass gang member murderer types were rounded up in her district by ICE, her office responded with abolish ICE. When the budget was passed that opened the government, she voted against it because in the budget was salaries for ICE agents. Now, I guess it's popular to misunderstand what agencies do, like Kamala Harris, the um, senator from California, who's a big supporter of Ocasio-Cortez and running for president of the United States, says that ICE agents are like, get this, the Ku Klux Klan. In other words, lynching and raping and murdering innocent blacks. One of the worst terroristic organizations in the history of the United States, and that's what ICE is. Forget the fact that ICE is just enforcing the immigration laws passed by the Congress of the United States, rounding up illegal criminals, which is the law of the United States, and deporting them per the law of the United States. They are like the KKK. And, uh, and according to Ocasio-Cortez, this entire agency should be disbanded and immigration and customs enforcement should cease. Hello? <laughs> Take down the borders and we're open to everyone because that is the beauty of socialism. Whatever you have, share with the person that comes in and wants part of what you have. That is her philosophy and that is what she's selling. So, when you asked a minute ago, with that that laugh of yours, you mean people get money for breathing? Yeah. Well, the answer is yes, they do, because they deserve it. Oh, now, man, here's man. an interesting thing that happened this afternoon. One of the advisors who helps Ocasio-Cortez write her stuff said, well, uh, the part about everyone getting money, even if they don't have a job, and even if they refuse to have a job, and even if they refuse to work, was made up by the Republicans. Mm -hmm. So a number of news organizations went to Ocasio-Cortez's office and got the press release again, and in writing, she says, you get money no matter what. Even, not, not Jermaine, I wanna make this clear, not that you can't find a job, if you refuse work, her program will pay you anyway. 